In this video, I'll show you how to connect your HP DeskJet 4155E printer to your Mac computer via Wi-Fi, so you can print and scan wirelessly. So let's get started right away. First thing, go on your Mac App Store and search for HP Smart. Then you should see this app appearing, HP Smart for Desktop, and make sure that you download it. In my case, I have already downloaded it and I just have to update it. You absolutely need this app to make the printer connect to your computer. While the app is downloading, you'll need to go on your printer, make sure it's turned on. If it's not, just press on the power button and wait about a minute. And then you're gonna take two fingers, you're gonna put one on this X button and the other one on this Wi-Fi button and keep them pressed until the power button light starts flashing. I'll show you. So I'm pressing right now. I'm waiting. It starts flashing. I can now release and the flashing should stop in just a few seconds. This will mean that the printer is now in pairing mode. Here we go. So now go back on your Mac computer. And once the app is open, it should look a bit like this one. In my case, I already have a printer connected, but if you don't have one, it's not a problem. What you need to do is to go over here on the top right corner and press the small printer with a plus symbol. So we can add a new printer. It will search for the printer and since we put it in pairing mode, it should appear over here. You're just gonna press on the setup button under DeskJet 4100 printer series. Then you're gonna press continue. Now this step, I suggest you choose no tanks and do it manually like I'll do right now. So first thing, make sure that the Wi-Fi network listed is yours. So the one that you use at home or at the office and then you're gonna type the password of this Wi-Fi network over here. Okay, I just did it and now press connect. It will take just a few seconds until all this small setup thing graphic is done. Here it will ask press and release the flashing information button on your printer. It's this button over here, the I. I'll press it and release it. And then the setup will continue on the computer. At the end, you should have the green check mark in the middle telling you that everything is connected. Press continue. Then over here, it's up to you if you want to accept or decline this. It's not obligatory to give your data to HP. And in my case, I value my privacy, so I'll decline optional data. Here, it's up to you again if you want to activate their HP Plus uh, capabilities. Again, it's not obligated and you can do this after this setup if you change your mind. So I'll click on do not activate HP Plus, but again, you can just continue and do it if you wish. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to confirm your choice. So I'll press decline. Then I'll press continue. Now it will try to sell you their HP Inc. service that is delivered by mail. Again, I think it could be cool, but you're not obligated to choose it now. So I suggest you do do not enable Inc. delivery and read by yourself all the terms and conditions and decide later if you're gonna choose it. So I'll click on do not able, enable Inc. delivery. And again, I'll have to confirm this. They're very persistent. I don't like this, but this is how they did it. So I'll skip offer. Here, I suggest you select auto update. So it updates the printer by itself. You don't need to do anything. And then press apply. Here, 
just press skip sending link. You can install the HP software on your other devices, your phone, tablet, and whatever. Again, later, you don't need to do it now. At this step, you need to click on printer and scanners. It will bring you here. What you need to do is to click the small plus icon here and you should select HP DeskJet 4100 series. Okay, then wait a few seconds and you'll be able to click the add button. Press continue. Okay, once it's done, you're gonna go back in the HP Smart App you're going to have the success printing printer installed. Just press OK. It will ask you if you want to print a test page. You can do it now or you can skip it. In my case, I'll skip and I encourage you to skip it as well. It's not useful. It just uses your ink for absolutely nothing. So I'll press skip printing file. And we'll be on the main page on, of the app. Here it tells me that there's a firmware available for the printer. I'll just press OK and it will update the printer automatically. In the meanwhile, I'll just show you a few things. First of all, you need absolutely to have an HP account. It's free uh, if you want to use all these features from your, uh, from your computer. So if you want to scan, if you want to print from your Mac computer, you'll need to be logged into your account. In my case, I already logged, but if you're not, just go over here and you'll be able to create a brand new account. To scan a document, it's very easy. It has two different scanners. So one of them is the flatbed over here. And by the way, if you didn't already do it, it has a small plastic film over it. You need to remove before starting um, scanning like this, and there's another one here, and another one here. Take the piece of paper you want to scan and put it facing down. Then you have to push it to this corner over here. So just take it and glide it and push it firmly so it's in this corner and then close the print bed, the scan bed, sorry. <laughs> Then on the computer, you're going to press scan. And then make sure here that scanner glass is selected on the top here. Then make sure that the document size you're trying to scan is the right one. Here you can select if you want it to be in color or in black and white. And here we have the resolution. If it's a text document, just leave it at 150. If it's a picture and you want the best quality, select the 1200 dpi i'll leave it like this when you're done press scan and it will take just a few seconds you'll hear some noises and over here you're going to have the scan what it just did you can save it you can actually print it if you want to make a copy or you can press the add button if you have multiple pages in your document. So if you have a text document, let's say with 10 pages and you want to combine them in one, you're going to press the add button. In my case, I just want to save it. So I'll press the save button. And here you'll be able to name the document the way you want, give it a name, what kind of document you want to save a basic PDF or you prefer a JPEG and the compression. Just leave it at none. I always suggest it and press save when you're done. This will open and you'll need to select where on your Mac or PC you want to save it. In my case, I want it to be on the desktop, save, and you'll have the confirmation. There's also another way you can scan. Just take your paper, open this flap, remove this blue ribbon. And this is great if you have multiple documents, multiple pages, sorry. Let's say you have many. In my case, I just have two. Align them. And then you're going to open these two plastic flaps to the max just by pushing them like this. 
glide your paper inside, okay? Leave it like this, and on the computer, you're gonna do the same exact thing. So press scan. Now, maybe you can change the settings here if you're uh, scanning something else, and press the scan. The printer will take each pages by itself. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to push them one by one. Just look and wait. I don't know if I told you, but you need to put them facing up. Once you're done on your computer, you're going to have all the pages, no matter how many, they will be in line here. And then you can save this as one single document. Imagine you want a PDF here, give it a new name, press save, just like we did previously in the desktop, and you're done. Now, if we open this file, you can see here, this PDF file has two different pages. Now, let me show you how to print a document. So make sure first that you have paper inserted inside of the paper tray. On your Mac, you just need to go into print documents. If you want to print a picture, you're going to press, you're going to press print photo, but I'll press this. Then I'll press OK. Then it will ask you to select what document, which document to print from your um, Mac. I'll just print this one that we just scanned. Then you have to select all the details. So do you want how many copies? what pages. In my case, I just want the first page of this document. Make sure that HP DeskJet 4100 series is selected on the top. And then before pressing print, make sure that this paper tray is out and you can even extend this. Now let's press print. And here we go. This is how you print using your Mac computer. So I hope this video was useful. If so, please give a like, subscribe, type a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.